Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the halogenation reaction of phenol. First, we are going to add uh, bromine water with phenol. Let's learn what's going to happen. This is phenol. To phenol, a bromine water that is Br2H2O, three molecule of bromine is added. Uh, what happens here? One hydrogen will be there. Here one hydrogen and here one hydrogen. What happens? This bromine, three molecule of bromine. So Br, Br. This H and Br, H, Br, H, Br will leave as three H, Br. Three hydrogen bromide will be eliminated and this bromine, bromine atom will replace the hydrogen atom. This is phenol. Here, in the second position, one bromine, and in the fourth position, one bromine, and in the sixth position, one more bromine will be attached. Let's write the name for this compound. The name of this compound is phenol. It's reacted with bromine water. That is bromine water. We get 2 comma 4 comma 6 because this is first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, fourth carbon, fifth carbon, and sixth carbon. To the second carbon, one bromine, to the fourth carbon, one bromine, and to the sixth carbon, one more bromine. So 2 comma 4 comma 6 tribromo tribromo phenol is the name of this compound. Phenol reacts with bromine water to give a white precipitate of 2 comma 4 comma 6 tribromo phenol. If the phenol is reacted with bromine in presence of carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride at 278 Kelvin, a mixture of artho and para bromo phenols are formed. Let's learn the reaction. This is phenol. To this, a bromine molecule is attached. In presence of carbon tetrachloride, in presence of carbon tetrachloride or carbon disulfide, CS2. Okay, the temperature maintained is 278 Kelvin. What happens here? One hydrogen will be there in ortho position, and in the para position, also there will be a hydrogen. If the reaction takes place in ortho position, HBr will be eliminated. HBr will be eliminated. That is hydrogen bromide will be eliminated and this bromine will be attached to this ortho position. So we get ortho bromo phenol if the reaction takes place in ortho position. We get ortho bromo phenol. If the reaction takes place in para position, what happens? Here hydrogen bromide will be eliminated and this bromine will replace this hydrogen and we get para bromo phenol. We get para bromo phenol. This is the reaction of bromination of phenol in presence of carbon tetrachloride or carbon disulfide. Let's, let's write the name for this compound. The name of this compound is phenol. Reacts with bromine in presence of carbon tetrachloride or else carbon disulfide. We get ortho bromo phenol and para bromo phenol a mixture of ortho and para bromo phenols are obtained let's summarize the reaction once again if the phenol is reacted with bromine in presence of carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride at 278 kelvin we get a mixture of ortho and para bromo phenol thank you